So dad's had this project on the go for a while now, since this summer when a friend of ours, young Greg, came and helped cut a bunch of wood to make a new barrel rack. So we're gonna have something like this over here so that all these nice barrels can actually live in a pretty way instead of on weird pallets. Um, and we'll be able to fit more in here as a big plus. Big plus. So we've cleaned out a bunch of stuff in here. There's still a little bit more that needs to get taken out. We're going to take those barrels out here with the pallet jack, it's over there. And they're gonna live behind where normally our register is here. They're gonna live back there for a couple days while we build the rest of the, um, the barrel rack. So here we go. Proof. Okay, I don't wanna. Well, you can put it down because it just it's easy to spin on its belly. It's 
going to be fun. I'd love to have something to put it on so then we can re adjust our grip. Uh, small barrel? Yeah. Barrels on barrels on barrels. That's okay. Or do you want to? A little bit more that way. Oop. That's good. Do you want to come and end up like this? Yeah. Okay. Oop. This one's got a nice look on the inside. All right. I'm going to adjust and then we'll move towards it. Yep. Okay. my loins. I know, this is the hard part. Okay. Ready? Oh, I think we should move it this way a little bit. Yeah, it should come toward you. Uh... Okay. Cool. Okay, you are around. Uh... Piece of tape with the proof on it's it. Put it on the end of the barrel. Do you want any other information on it? No, I would love to have other information, but I don't know. How, you know, I'd love to know how many gallons were in it. But I don't really. I'd love to know. That would be another little project for us. Is to put ten gallons or fifteen gallons, measure fifteen gallons into here, and put marks on the inside. Measure the measure the height. And then you then we know how many gallons per inch. Yeah. What's uh, happening? I'm steaming this beam because it's warped up a little bit, and I'm trying to get it to bend back down. This should be touching. Just a normal clothes steamer. See if it works. So because we were proofing down yesterday instead of um, finishing up the barrel rack so that we could get the, the alcohol back into these barrels, we, uh, we kind of stalled on the project and we just haven't done as much on it as we want. Plus we need to give this another chance to, to sink a little bit more so that we can, you know, get everything lined up correctly and so we don't have a wibbly barrel rack. Proofing is kind of a long process for us because it's uh, at least when we're talking about these volumes, like hopefully when we do this better, we'll do it better in the future and it won't be as time consuming. Um, but pumping out all of the liquid takes a while and then pumping it back in and then measuring out and doing all the math to figure out how much water we got to add to get it down to the proof that we want. Turns out there's a lot of math and I'm a little bit upset about it.
assembling a barrel rack, another barrel rack. Uh, this is made of black locust that we harvested here from off the property here and milled here on the property. We cut four by fours for the barrel rails. We cut two by sixes for the uprights and the crossbar of uh, the diagonals. And we cut two by fours here for the spacers. Um, we, when we started the video, we had the two bottom layers on. Uh, the separation of the layers is a little bit different. The bourbon, uh, the brandy barrels are the biggest. Mm -hmm. So they're on the bottom and there has to be more space between the bottom rail and the second rail. Then the bourbon barrels will go on the second level. So there's a little, they're a little bit smaller. So we'll have a little bit less space from the second rail to the third rail. And on the top rail, we have just enough space to put in the 30 gallon barrels that you see up here. Cool. And, and what's in those? These are acacia barrels and they have brandy in them. But uh, we use the 30 gallon barrels mostly for things that we want to uh, do experiments with. Oh, cool. <laughs> and uh, the acacia barrel aged brandy is an experiment. We'll have some two year aged acacia barrel uh, brandy that we can bottle later this uh, probably the first of the year. Uh, so what did we do? We uh, muscled this piece in here. Mm -hmm. We put some spacers, temporary spacers on the center one to balance it on while we got the, uh, and then we marked where we want the level to go. Uh, this is a little bit, wanted to give it a little bit more, so we're about three eighths of an inch above that. Mm -hmm. uh, we got it in here and then we, Got it, uh, put our bolts in. Where we had pre-drilled the hole for the bolt up here is too close to the top. Yeah. So we had to re-drill the hole down here to be uh, more stable where we won't split the wood and we'll have more of a... We had to do the same thing on the other side. You can see the pre-drilled hole on the left and then the new hole that we yep. drilled on the right. Yeah. Uh, it takes quite a bit of energy for the uh, <laughs> drill to cut through this hard wood. Yeah. Uh, so we're waiting now till for batteries to recharge. And then we'll do uh, bolts on the center uh, uprights and on the this end upright. Mm -hmm. And then it will be time to put in the diagonals. Uh, yeah. You can see how the diagonals work over here. These are these. To keep it from... Uh, keep it from uh, racking well it's a rack but they also call it racking when something mm. goes out of uh, out of out of square yeah all right well there's always more to do what are you doing graham uh screwing in the last bolt the um, last bolt on our barrel rack yeah all right go for it So this rack will hold four 59 gallon brandy barrels and four or five 55 gallon bourbon barrels. And then on the top rack, we'll put some of those 30 gallon barrels for uh, our experiments. And there you go, muscles. Thank you, Graham. Absolutely. So really exciting. Um, while I was gone, Graham and my dad finished the barrel racks. Look at that. Look at how amazing that is. We've got all those barrels up there. We've got some fruit defrosting so that we can make brandy. But um, genuinely, this is really exciting. It's, uh, it's really cool to have a barrel room that actually looks like uh, something cool, something us, you know? And um, it's, it's great because we can tell the story about how these pieces of lumber came off of this land and was milled by our family. And thank you to Greg, young Greg, who came and cut a bunch of this lumber this summer. Thank you to uh, my cousins and my aunt and uncle up at North Family Farm for helping us mill this. And uh, thank you for, to Graham for helping my dad put it all together. So um, thanks for watching the video. Click like and subscribe so that you know when there are more videos like this. And uh, see you on the next one.